Welcome to Eagle News, today our topic is, according to a U.S. judge, Celsius Network owns the majority of consumer cryptocurrency deposits. Reuters, January 4, the majority of Celsius Network's customers would be last in line for repayment in the crypto lender's bankruptcy, according to a U.S. Bankruptcy judges ruling on Wednesday that Celsius Network controls the majority of the cryptocurrency that users placed into its online platform. About 600,000 accounts that included assets worth $4.2 billion when Celsius filed for bankruptcy in July are impacted by the decision made by U.S. bankruptcy judge Martin Glenn in New York. Glenn wrote that the corporation does not have the money to completely reimburse such deposits. According to the judgment, non-interest-bearing account holders and other secured creditors will have higher precedence than the majority of Celsius customers. Whether Celsius has a sizable secured debt was unknown. The decision also prevents customers with interest-bearing accounts from bickering among themselves for higher priority, preventing a scenario in which some of those customers receive 100% of their deposits back while other customers in a similar situation only receive a small percentage, according to Glenn. According to Glenn, Celsius's terms of service made it apparent that it owned the money that customers deposited into its interest-bearing earn accounts. Consequently, Earn users will be regarded as unsecured creditors in Celsius bankruptcy and would be paid last after Celsius settles bills with greater priority. Twelve U.S. states and D.C. had protested Celsius' attempt to acquire the digital assets. They said, among other reasons, that it was uncertain whether clients understood the terms of service and that Celsius was being investigated for rules violations in multiple places, which may plausibly preclude the company from relying on the conditions of use. According to Glenn, the decision does not mean that earned clients will receive nothing in the bankruptcy case and it does not preclude any challenges to Celsius's ownership of the cryptocurrency deposits. According to the decision, Celsius clients may be able to sue the cryptocurrency lender for fraud or breach of contract, and state regulators may be able to argue that the account holders' contracts cannot be enforced because they broke state securities rules. The court does not take lightly the effects of this judgment on regular people, many of whom invested large sums of money in the Celsius platform, according to Glenn. During the claims resolution process, creditors will have every chance to receive a full hearing on the merits of these arguments. The decision gives Celsius permission to sell almost $18 million worth of stablecoins that were previously kept in consumers' earn accounts. In December, Glenn issued a decision stating that a small number of Celsius clients with various types of accounts were entitled to their deposits back after the company's bankruptcy. Customers with non-interest-bearing custody accounts, money that were not combined with other Celsius assets, and accounts that were too small for Celsius to attempt to claw back to compensate other customers were the only ones who might benefit from that judgment. Other crypto bankruptcies, such as those of cryptocurrency lenders Voyager Digital and BlockFi, also heavily rely on the broader question of who actually owns the assets in question. Yeah.